Hey YouTube, it's Michael Lambert here. I'm back once again with another reaction video. Once again, I'm reacting to Peep This Out in this video, Jack in the Box, Grilled Jack Wraps Review, Classic and Spicy, Peep This Out. This is the new one that he uploaded this past Monday, and I'm going to react to it right now. And if any notifications pop up during the video, I apologize, and I will take care of them. Now let's get to this video. Well, I'm going a little healthy for today's review as I'm back on over at Jack in the Box to check out another version of their all-new Jack Wraps. That's right, guys. It's the Grill Jack Wraps. And for today's review, I'm going in on both versions, the classic and the spicy. So stay tuned because they're both up next for you here on the channel. I'm Ian K, and you're about to peep this out. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. Yeah, these are both looking pretty good, guys, and they're pretty filled out in my hands here right now. And for $3 each, you want them to be filled out. You want them to be stuffed, you know? So, guys, take a look. Here we go. We're going to go with the classic version and the spicy version. A very nice combination of goodness on the inside of these warm flour tortillas. Let me break these on down both for you real quick before we get into them. Yes, sir. Definitely wrapped up good to go. These all-new Jack Wraps are really reminding me of the snack wraps from Mickey D's from back in the day, guys. A very lovely situation in the presentation department. Starting off with the classic version over here, what we're going to start off with, obviously, is that warm flour tortilla. And on the inside, we've got some chopped up grilled chicken strips, shredded lettuce, shredded cheddar cheese, pickles, good, good sauce, and buttermilk ranch. And I got to say, guys, a pretty nice portion on the inside of this one for sure. There's plenty of that ranch action, and that definitely looks pretty awesome. Absolutely a saucy situation with this one. For the spicy version, it's all the same exact ingredients as the classic, with the exception of spicy good good sauce, replacing the regular version of it, along with a few jalapenos sliced up on the inside there. It looks like about two so far, but not a bad portion of the spicy good good sauce. It looks like it's rounding it out pretty nicely with that buttermilk ranch. So there you go. It's the breakdown of the all-new grilled jack wraps over here at Jack in the Box, the classic and the spicy. So let's peep out this flavor. Yep, so I decided to go for the two for six for this particular review, just rounding out the grilled version of these Jack Wraps all at one time. Naturally, after checking out the crispy variant of the classic, actually, which you're probably seeing up on the screen here right now, do check that one out. I'm absolutely going to be back to check out the spicy version of that in the very near future, but I figured for one review, let's knock out the grilled at the same time. A very nice combination of goodness with this one, again, with the exception of the jalapenos and the spicy good, good sauce, replacing just the good, good sauce on the inside of this one. But guys, pickles and all that good stuff as well, let's give the classic version a shot first and then we'll get into the spicy this is the classic grill jack wrap over here at jack in the box let's peep out this flavor wow mm. the pickle and the ranch make this wow you know, I would usually get the grilled version of the snack wrap over at Mickey D's, so that's instantly reminding me of that, but with the addition of the buttermilk ranch being so tart and pungent at the same time, as well as the pickles on top of that, a lovely situation. I haven't gotten into the good, good sauce just yet, but a very nice combination of pickle goodness, that ranch action, and the grilled action naturally with that, with the shredded cheese. Overall, this is pretty tasty, and I expected it to be. Let's go for another couple of bites before we get into the next one. Mmm, there we go. You know, that good, good sauce itself has a nice little bit of tang and sweetness to go with the snap and crunch and acidity of the pickle itself, guys. The combination works well, and of course, dovetailing into the buttermilk ranch and the grilled chicken, everything swings with this one, along with that shredded cheese. A pretty nice situation on this. And it's Hold on, everyone. Snoopy wants some attention. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, everybody. It's absolutely a hearty bite. And as mentioned before, and thankfully, it feels a little bit more filled out in the hand this time out compared to the regular version, the crispy classic that I checked out. This actually feels like it's a hardier situation. It's got a little bit more in it naturally. Let's go for one more bite, and then we'll get into the spicy. This is pretty tasty. Mm, good choice on this one today. Pretty good. All right, and as for the spicy variant, again, the combination of spicy good, good sauce and, of course, some jalapenos. I'm expecting a little bit of sizzle with this one. Let's give this one a go, guys. This one is the spicy grilled jack wrap over here at Jack in the Box. Let's peep out this flavor. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. There goes the heat. It's a light sizzle, not bad. Oh, good. Wow. Let me grab a little bit of almond milk. It's nothing crazy, but I definitely want to cool this down just a bit. Mm. 
All right. Well, I didn't get too much of the buttermilk ranch in that one. It was more of that spicy, good, good sauce. So that tang, that sweetness is there. The heat is definitely elevated. And naturally, with one of those jalapenos at the same time, a nice combination. So let's go for another couple of bites on this one. I want to get into some more of that ranch. Or should I say some of the ranch at least, because I didn't get really any in that first bite. Let's keep going in. Mm. There we go. Well, I actually have a lot more of the spicy good good sauce in this one compared to the ranch, but what little I did get did add just a little bit of flavor to this one, but naturally this is more of a spicy good good showcase on top of a little bit of the heat that I'm getting from the jalapenos, which was really just that one so far. But guys, a lot of saucy goodness with this one, but I have to say very tasty still. Not bad for what this is. But on the real, considering there's not much buttermilk ranch on the inside of this, I'm kind of itching to get back to the classic variant. So I'm going to go for one more bite. We'll wrap this double review with the ratings coming up next. But guys, a very tasty option over here at Jack in the Box, especially in grilled form, because I just think it's more of a heartier situation. Pretty nice overall. So let's go for one more bite and we'll wrap this one up. Hang on. Well, if you've got Jack in the Box in the area, these are both very, very tasty, guys. I think the classic is going to lead overall in popularity, considering what it is, naturally, because the combination of that buttermilk action, the regular good, good sauce, the grilled chicken, the cheese, the lettuce, it's pretty nice. The addition of spicy good, good sauce and just a few jalapenos on the inside, I don't think is enough to kind of warrant this particular one being at the forefront. But at the same time, your mileage may vary. These are still pretty tasty. I would recommend giving these a go. Pretty nice. Order on Uber Eats, Postmates, and Grubhub. Yeah, I got to say, the grilled version of these Jack Wraps over here at Jack in the Box really do remind me of the grilled version over at Mickey D's. Naturally, with the addition of pickles on this version, along with the good, good sauce, that's really the differentiating factor that really makes it Jack in the Box. But at the same time, very tasty for what those are. The spicy version is just that, just a little bit spicy if you ask me. But again, I don't think it's better than the classic. You're getting a little bit more flavor in the classic. Maybe had I had just a little bit more of the buttermilk ranch along with the spicy good, good sauce in the spicy version, I'd probably think differently. But at the same time, they're very delicious and easily worth your time. And judging by the ratings that you're going to see for both of these on screen right now, I think what you're seeing is actually fair for what I got today, wow. guys. Considering the flavor of both of them together, like I said, they are worth your time. Two for six is not bad, considering how filled out those flour tortillas were. And like I said, they're easily worth your time. Definitely give these a go if you've got Jack in the area. All right, so do me a quick favor like always. Drop those comments down below. What did you think of the presentation of these grilled Jack wraps over here at Jack in the Box? Did this variation of them really kind of set you off to give this one a go if you do have Jack in the area? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high-quality foodie feature for you here on Peep the Sour Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So I stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Hey, thanks for checking out this review, guys. But just in case you didn't see the one I did before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's going to recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya. Awesome video. I give it a thumbs up. And if you guys hear that hear that noise in the background, it's my mom's alarm on her phone going off. Sorry about that, everybody. And I hope you all enjoyed this reaction video. If you're all new to my main channel or my second channel or to Peep This Out's channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Give both our videos a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell to let you guys know when we both post. And share both of our videos with your friends and family members too, please, everybody. And on my main channel, we are on the road to 8,000 subscribers. And on my second channel, we are on the road to 3,000 subscribers. And please don't forget to take a look at my other videos on my channel's playlists on both my main channel and my second channel. And give them a thumbs up. And share them with your friends and family members too, please, everybody. I would really appreciate it. And please help me accomplish my goal to get 8,000 subscribers or more on my main channel and 3,000 subscribers or more on my second channel too, please, everybody. I would really appreciate that too. And please help me bring my views and watch hours up on my main channel by taking a look at my other videos that are on the two playlists that are on my main channel. And give them a thumbs up. And share them with your friends and family members too, please everybody. I would really appreciate it. And please help me bring my subscriber count up on my main channel as well. Also, please everybody, I would really appreciate that too. And I'm off now, so until next time, see ya.